Recruiting sounds easy, right? You place people, you find people, you offer them great jobs, and you make a buttload of money while you do it. I mean, if you place somebody who's got a $100,000 salary and you're making $25,000, man, it's so easy, right? What could possibly go wrong? So here are some of the things that make recruitment really, really challenging. Okay, number one, you've got to get a client that wants to work with you, a client that's going to trust you. So the best way to do this is to go on to Indeed, look up look up open jobs and call the companies and simply say, hey, who's responsible for this position? I can help you out. Uh, the next step that you've got to do is you've got to get the hiring manager or whoever it is that's making the decision to sign a contract saying that once you've made the placement, they're going to pay you. And maybe that's after 60 or 90 days, uh, a guarantee period, because most people are going to want to make sure that once they hire your candidate and they pay you, that that candidate's not going to leave. So once that's all completed, then you need to understand what the hiring manager is looking for. So you have an intake meeting with them. You hear all about what they're looking for in a candidate. And you know that's not just looking at the job description and looking at the qualifications. It's understanding the company, the culture. You've heard these buzzwords before, but like, what is the manager like? What are the personalities like? How many hours is this job gonna work? What's the pay? You're gonna cover every single aspect of it. Once you're done with that, then you can actually start looking for people. So what do you do? You start connecting with people that you know in the industry. You start reaching out to them. You start saying, hey, what about you? Would you like to work for this company? So once you've done that and uh, you've reached out to people, uh, you have start having conversations with them and you find out, are they qualified? Can they do the job? Are they actually somebody that's going to want to work for this company? Is the company going to want them to work for them? Once you've got two or three of these candidates, you send them over to the hiring manager um, and they start to interview. Now, once they start to interview, you think, yeah, we're great, right? We've got people interviewing. No, you're probably like 30 or 40% there. Uh, once they've interviewed, uh, you know, maybe they don't like your candidates. If so, you gotta start from scratch. Let's say they do like your candidates and they say, yeah, we wanna make an offer. Now you're gonna handle the negotiation. You're gonna find out, uh, and you should really have found out at the beginning what this candidate is making. If you haven't already, you find out what are they looking for, and uh, you can't even ask them what they're making. You got to find what are the what are they looking for, and make sure it's in within the budget of what the company's looking to pay. Then you negotiate the offer on behalf of the client. Uh, so let's say all of that goes well, which it doesn't, because there's things called counter offers, which we can talk about. Let's say that all goes well, then you got to pray that that person's there for 60 to 90 days, and that client's going to pay. It's a lot.